Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you the steps to set up Tomcat Apache server on Azure. So click the link in the description box to come to this listing on the Azure Marketplace, which is of the Tomcat Apache server running on Ubuntu. From here, you want to create a new virtual machine with this image installed inside it. So simply click on get it now. And then you need to click on continue. And then from this page, click on create. And then you will be taken to this page where you can customize your virtual machine. So Choose the subscription that you have, create a new resource group or go with an existing one. Give your virtual machine a name, I'm going to call it Tomcat. Choose the region that you want, scroll down, make sure that the image is Tomcat server on Ubuntu generation 1. Give the size according to your requirements. For the authentication type, you can go with the password protected authentication or the SSH public key. I am going to go with the SSH public key and then I'm going to give the username as CIS. And when you're satisfied with the settings, simply click on review plus create. And then you would have to wait for the validation process to complete. And then after the validation is successful, simply click on create to actually create the virtual machine on the region that you have chosen. And when you click on create, it prompts you to download the private key and create resource. So click on download private key and create resource and download the private key in a secure folder because that is the key that you would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. And then you would have to wait for the deployment to complete. Once the deployment is complete, click on go to resource. And from here, click on connect and then select SSH. Now you need to copy this command and paste it inside your PowerShell. So open up a new PowerShell, paste in the command and replace the private key path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path, simply hit enter and when prompted, type in yes. So now this PowerShell client would become our SSH terminal. Now you want to access the IP address of your virtual machine. For that, go back to Azure. Go back to overview, copy this public IP address, open a new tab and paste it IP address and add the port number 8080 and hit enter. Now as you can see, our Apache Tomcat server is up and running on Azure, but there is a slight problem. If I try to access the server status manager app or the host manager, you can see that my access gets denied. So we need to include the Tomcat users and give them the role of admin GUI and manager GUI. So for that, go back to your PowerShell. And in here, you need to find the file which is tomcatusers.xml. So type in the command sudo space find space forward slash space hyphen name space tomcat hyphen users.xml. Now this is the path for that file. So copy this path, type in the command sudo nano and paste that path and hit enter. And in this file, you want to come to this section and change the role name to admin GUI. And you want to change the other role name to manager GUI and then you want to create a profile using a particular username and a password. So for the username, I'm going to type in admin and for the password, I'm also going to type in admin. Now for the roles, you want to type in admin GUI, then a comma and then manager GUI. And at the very end, you want to remove these comments and then save the file by pressing control plus O and then exit the file by pressing control plus X. Now you want to restart the service of Tomcat. So the command is sudo systemctl space restart space tomcat. And then you want to allow the access from a particular remote IP address. For that, you need to find the file context.xml. So the command is sudo space find space forward slash space hyphen name space context.xml. So these are the two files that we need to change. So stop the search by pressing control plus C and then copy the path to the first file. Type the command sudo nano paste the path and hit enter. And within this file, you simply want to change this value tag or comment out this value tag by typing in less than operator exclamation mark and two hyphens. And at the end of this tag, you want to put two hyphens and a greater than symbol. Same goes for the second file. So copy the path, type in sudo nano, the path to the file, hit enter and comment out the value tag. Now, if you want to allow access from a particular or specific IP address, you would have to put that IP address over here. But I am allowing access to this virtual machine from everywhere or from every IP address which has the username admin and the password admin. So save the file by pressing Ctrl O and Ctrl X. And now we need to restart the service of Tomcat. So type in the command sudo systemctl space restart space Tomcat. Now you can go back to your Apache server, refresh the page 
and try accessing the server status or the manager app. So as you can see that it prompts us for the username and the password. So I'm going to type in admin as my username and for the password, I'm going to type in admin as well and hit enter. So now as you can see, I was able to access my server status after putting in my credentials. So if I go back to the dashboard and try accessing the host manager app, it is going to ask me for the username and password once more. So type those in and hit enter. And there you go. Your Tomcat Apache server is running and it is allowing you to access the host manager app and the server status. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, leave them in the comment section. And if this video has helped you in any way, then leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the listing of the marketplace and for the step-by-step -step blog post on how to set up Apache Tomcat server on Azure, AWS and GCP.